Hello there. Welcome to my investigation into Tiffany Studios, New York. Now, I'm appealing to the whole Tiffany community in America to pay great attention to the things I'm about to show you in the next few minutes. It concerns a very, very important Tiffany lamp and a very important part of Tiffany Studios' story, the very first few months. It concerns this lamp here. In the book, Tiffany Lamps and Metalwork, there's a small lamp there, numbered 334. That is not the number of this lamp. That is the number of that lamp. That base number is called X1 or XI. That lamp was one of the most important lamps in Tiffany history. At the very beginning of Tiffany Studios, it was the star of the show. Here are just a few pictures of these early lamps, not taken from books, but taken as they came up for sale on the internet. At this minute now, that base you just saw there, XI, is for sale in the Ofer Gallery for $22,000. The number is 25869. There is the one from the book, Tiffany Lamps and Metalwork. There is another one that's for sale now in California. That was for sale on eBay. That was for sale on eBay over the last eight years, about an average of one a year. That was for sale in Doyle's New York on June the 9th, 2004. And here we have the two main lamps part of our story. Lamp 25185 and Lamp 25105. Now, this is where we come to the story. This lamp is 25165, which puts it in the middle of these. Now, how can we date these? Well, thanks to the Tiffany, A New Light on Tiffany book, we can actually date these lamps now. On page 108, Clara Driscoll writes, on August the 20th, 1903, she spent two and a half hours on lamp number 29877. Now that was the shade she was working on. The dragonfly shade. That means she knew it was headed for the base number 29877, which goes against all the top experts that say the lamp numbers had nothing to do with the shade. Right at the very end, 29877, she knew she was working on the dragonfly shade for that base. So that's the way it went from the very beginning. Using that date, I've managed to make a chart of a calendar of the early Tiffany. Here we have a Clara Driscoll letter. At Tiffany's November the 1st, 1897. In this letter she goes on to explain and, and a few later letters that how she started to get the girls to knot together, work together and started to work on these Tiffany desk pieces. I think this is a well known fact. Okay, November the 1st. That was when the Tiffany Metalworks opened in New York. Using these figures, August the 20th 
She worked on 29877. We know for a fact that the Nautilus 25890 was at the Grafton Galleries in May to June 1899. We know for a fact she started work on November the 1st. And that was when they started to produce the metal work, the, metal, the, the desk sets. Using this information, we know that in 1901 January, this is in the Tiffany Girls book, she went to Corona on the train to visit the production of leaded shades increased at the new factory, the men's factory. They were making 100 lamps to her three. This is in her own letters. We know that in September the 29th, the glass and decorating logo was dropped. Okay, so working, using the numbers of the lamps from 29877, back to when the men's factory opened in Corona, Queens producing 100 lamps to her three, to Clara Driscoll's three, back to September the 29th when the glass and decorating logo was dropped. We can work all the way back. The 25,000 series began in November. There weren't leaded lamps at that time. There were special inkwells and blown glass shades as the ones seen here. I call this first six months the trifoil period because I believe that is when the trifoil was first developed by Tiffany himself. The trifoil was Tiffany's favourite motif. Now, this story is connected by this oil lamp sold from the Metropolitan Galleries October the 15th, 2005, for $17,000. There it is now. Now I believe that was the very, one of the very first Tiffany lamps produced before Clara Driscoll got involved. She says her lamps went into production July the 15th, June the 15th, sorry. Now this lamp here, I want you to pay particular attention to the technical details of this lamp. It doesn't appear to be copper foil. It's correctly stamped, Tiffany Studios, New York. Again, doesn't appear to be copper foil. I believe the copper foil was developed in the first six months in the trifoil period. It's correctly stamped, Tiffany Studios, New York. Okie dokie. Where are we headed? We know that the first lamps were made using the offcuts from the desk set pieces. This is the Nautilus shown at the Grafton Gallery in 1899. And there is a pen tray with identical glass. Where are we headed with this? Right, I've just shown you this lamp. 25185 and 25105. Using this chart, we can date those lamps. 25112, she was, they were making 55 items per month. Not all lamps, and certainly not lady lamps yet. 25102 puts that at January 1898. 25185 puts that beginning of March 1898. This lamp here is stamped 25165. Yeah, that was the order number. 25165 puts it in between these two blown shades. Now, here we come to it. 25165 